This video is made possible by Invato Elements. Hey everyone, yes, this is my real voice. I am a real person behind this YouTube channel. Anyway, I am doing some experiment here. I really need your feedback regarding this voiceover. Let me know in the comment section which voice should I use in my upcoming tutorials. Should I use my real voice or the robotic one? So this week we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it the Elements Background. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and a frame rate of 30. You are free to use your own settings. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer and call it the background. For this background, I am using this dark blue color. Of course, you can use any color you want. Hit OK. And now we need to create one more solid layer. I am going to call it the circle and I am using this white color for it. Now make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools and select this ellipse tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color and my stroke is set to none. Now create a circle like this. You can press and hold the shift key on your keyboard to make a perfect circle. I am going to place my circle right here and renaming this layer as the circle. Let's minimize this layer because we are not going to use it. Now select this circle solid layer and we are going to use the track mat option for it. In case this track mat tab is not showing here, make sure to click on this toggle switch mode button. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat and this is how it looks now. Now go to the effects in the presets and search for the venetian blinds. Apply it onto the solid layer and then change the transition completion value to 75%. Also, I am keeping the direction value to 45 degrees. Let's change the width value to 15 to make the lines a bit thinner. Now select the solid layer and press P to open position. Make sure you are at the first frame and then click here to add a keyframe on it. Then go to the 10 second position and then place this solid layer around this position. Not so much, just a tiny bit. Check the animation. This is how it looks now. Perfect. This is what we have been looking for. Now we need to adjust the opacity of it. So open opacity by pressing the T on your keyboard and then change the opacity value to around 50%. Of course, you can use any color or any opacity you want. Now make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then again go to the tools and select the shape tool. This time create a circle like this or I can say ellipse and then call it wave lines. Then change the fill value to none and the stroke value will be solid color. I am using one pixel stroke and the stroke color will be white. Of course you can make it thicker. Now open the shape layer. Here you will find this add button. Just click on it and then choose repeater. Now open repeater and then you will find the copy option. I am simply going to change the copies value to 15 so that we will have more strokes on the shape layer. Now open the transform option and change the position value to 0 so that it will align right next to the stroke layer. Now change the scale value to 85% and then I am also decreasing the end opacity value. It will give this fade out look. Let's select the position and change the first position value to negative 5. It will place all the strokes right into the center. Now click on add once again and this time choose wiggle paths. Let's minimize the repeater one because we don't need it now and place the wiggle paths right below the repeater one. So in this case the wiggle is happening right after the repeater. Now open the wiggle path one and then change the detail value to 5. Also change the points value to smooth. If you want to increase or decrease the speed of the animation, you can always change the wiggle per second speed. For this video, I am keeping the 0.5. Let's change the size value to 20 to add some variations. Also I am keeping the correlation value to 0%. Now check the animation and this is how it looks now. Let's move to the next step. Now select this waveline once again and grab the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard and place it right here. Now open opacity by pressing T on your keyboard and then change the opacity value to 30%. Let's also open scale and increase the scale value so that it will look a little bigger. I'm also experimenting with the shape by changing the path shape. Let's change the opacity value to 10% so that it won't look that bright. Now we will add some wave to the circle. So for that, Select the circle layer and make a duplicate of it. Place it on top of all layers 
and then call it wave circle. Now turn on the visibility of the circle by clicking here and then place it somewhere else so that we can focus on the design. Now apply this vanishing blinds on this layer as well and this time I am keeping the transition completion value to 75% and the direction will be 90 degrees. Uh, I think the 80% will look fine. Again go to the effects and the presets and this time search for the wave warp. Apply it right below the vanishing blinds and then change the wave width value to around 60 and this is how it looks. We need to change the speed of it. So I am going to change the wave speed value to around 0.5 and then grab it and place it right here. Not bad. Align the position of each element and now we are moving to the next step. Select both circle layers and make a duplicate of it. Now right click on it and choose pre-compose. I am calling it circle blinds and then hit ok. Let's place it right here. Then open scale and change the scale value to 70%. I think the position will look fine here. And this is looking much better. Now for the last step, I am going to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the grid. Make sure to use the width value to around 1280 and the height will be 500 so that this solid won't cover all the screen. We just need this size. Now I am going to place it right here. Now again go to the effects and the presets and search for the grid. Apply it onto this grid layer and then click on this invert grid checkbox. Now change the size from to width and height slider and then we will keep the width value to around 50 and the height value will be 50 as well. Let's change the border value as well. I am keeping 49 so that the grid will look like this. Let's change the value back to 40 so that it will have some nice spacing. Now click on this color option and choose a color for the grid. I think this will look fine. I think the border will be 38. And this is how it looks now. Adjust some color opacity placement and now we are good to go. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. In case you want me to keep the previous voice, the robotic one, you can let me know in the comment section. Or if you want me to keep this voice, you can also let me know in the comment. So this is it for today. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck and peace. Design video faster with Invato Elements. Download unlimited After Effects templates, logo music, background music, sound effects, fonts, stock footage, web templates, mockups and more. Visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for 7 days.